Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's season two. Um, we're about to have the long anticipated and long waited for by many of our youth where they take over our podcast. Welcome to the 3D Disciples podcast, where we're working together to develop disciples who display God's love as we deploy into God's world. Join us on this journey by liking, subscribing, and following this channel. I'm your host, Hannah, and alongside us is the pastor of FBC Clarion, Jason Hunter. May Jesus help us climb to new heights. So there's a, a lot that led up to them going to camp this summer. Jason, can you tell us a little bit more about why the kids went to camp? Yeah, well, this is kind of a unique story, and we're grateful. Uh, our youth group partners with a couple of other churches or one other church to have a combined youth group, which is connected to another satellite church of that of that church. So there's three churches kind of connected. Uh, there was a member of the of the third church who felt like the Lord had led them to to send any kid who wanted to go to Word of Life camp that they were going to cover the cost for them to go to camp, and uh, and opened it up for our kids um, and told them to invite anyone they wanted to. In total, we uh, the three churches in that area sent about 55 kids off to Word of Life camp uh, this past July. Uh, we rented a big charter bus and put them on that and sent them all the way, and they had a really great time. Uh, for many of our kids, this was some of their first experiences away at a, uh, at a church camp, especially one of this high high quality and, you know, just all the events and activities they had there. And so uh, so we gave them an opportunity uh, to record a podcast, and they're going to share a bunch of their stories, things they did, a lot of funny stuff, you know, that goes on at camp, as well as some of what they learned about Christ. It really had an impact on a lot of their lives. And so we're grateful for the benefactor who helped pay for that, and it just kind of shows you how God can work in kind of amazing situations. And uh, and the partnership we have with these other churches is just really, really something we want to celebrate. All right, so sit back and open your ears to hear what they have to say. Hello, this is Bindi, your guest host for the day. I'm here with Abigail, Abby, Colton, and Caleb, and we're going to be talking about the awesome camp we went to, Word of Life, the island. What did you guys think of the bus ride there? I slept. <laughs> and slept. I watched, I watched the sermon. Oh, yeah, I did that too. Yeah, watched the sermon. Yeah, watched the sermon. That helped time fly by fast. Yeah. We watched, like, four different movies on the way yeah. up and on the way back. That was uh, fun. The seats were comfy. Better than a car, yeah, definitely. Better than a school bus. The bus was very bus, fancy. Yeah. I was like, it was wow. Fancy. Although when you fancy. stood up, you'd hit your head on the top. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you guys think of the boat ride to the island? So we got awesome. off the bus yeah. and we had to take a boat <laughs> to the <laughs> island, which was really cool. I loved it. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was great. The wind. Yes. <laughs> it was a bit like the ramp to get to the boat was a bit scary. Honestly. That was yeah. like I was Sketchy. like, oh, am I gonna fall through yeah. this? Oh, Did you guys no. ride the boat to the island? Did you get to the we island? We swam. You swam. <laughs> <laughs> they swam. swam. We rode the boats. Okay. <laughs> what was your first thought when you stepped off the boat, or, or I don't know if you guys just swam, <laughs> stepped <laughs> off the boat and onto the island? What was your first thought? All right. I was the first one off the boat, and they were all standing there, and everyone was quiet, okay? And there was these flags, and I was like, do I walk through the flags, or are they going to, like, move them? So I stood there, and I, we're, like, walking through them, and as soon as I touched them, it's like everyone, like, exploded. Everybody's whistling, and I'm like, what in the world? Because I was, like, the first one to go through, and I had never been there before, so I was like... Whoa. <laughs> I thought that Cardiac Kill was a, a very... Oh, very I was a little surprised by that, but by the end of the week, it didn't seem that bad. No, it, it was still bad. very yeah. bad. <laughs> so we know, because we were there, but does someone want to explain what the red and blue teams were about? <laughs> so we were on the blue team. Everyone from our area was on the blue team. So the whole week was like red versus blue, and they split the whole camp up into you're either on the red team or on the blue team. And like... Everything we did, like the games or, I don't know, the sports. sports, whatever, it was all like competing, red team versus blue team, and everybody was like, wow. I thought it was funny that every single thing was red versus blue. Like literally everything you do is red team versus blue team. And then when you get to free time, it's just everyone together and it doesn't matter. Like it was yeah. just, I was like, 
the competitiveness in me just wanted to be like, <laughs> oh, I can't talk to you, you're on the red team. But like, no one, <laughs> like everyone, yeah. it was so I weird. See, and we all had face paint. Oh, and I love like, the face paint. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, the blue. I didn't do this. Blue prints. lost, by the way. Yeah, we lost. I forget where I'm looking. <laughs> the blue lost, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Which was sad, but still a really <laughs> fun week. <laughs> we won Bible count, though. What were our cabin names? So we were in the same cabin. Were you guys in the same cabin? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Stonewall. We were Stonewall. Yes. The Sunny best town. cabin. What was yours? Harry's <laughs> Haven. Harry's Haven? <laughs> How many people were in your cabin? It was split between left and right. Oh, okay. So it was like two completely separate cabins. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We love the counselors. They were all amazing. What were the names of all of our counselors? And did anyone have a favorite counselor? We had Sebastian, who was Ooh. Canadian. Yeah. And we had Alessandro, who was Italian. Whoa. We had uh, we had uh, Priscilla. She was from Peru. We had Isabella. She was my favorite. She was. I don't know. I can't and remember. I like Priscilla too. And then we had Laura, and we had Maddie. Maddie was fun. Maddie I was my favorite. Isabella Maddie was, my was from favorite. Vermont. Yeah, Isabella, Isabella was really. Isabella was. Cool. She played the bass guitar. Yeah, it was awesome. Was was awesome. Was <laughs> it was so was cool. cool. I love that. The problem was that every single time we go into like chapel or anything like that, she wasn't. There. She wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so yeah. our right half only had two, oh, and okay. then there was the left half, which was James and Ethan, and James was the okay. guy who just carried around the giant stick. stick oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, I know! Stick. Yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stick. Wait, the flag? Yep. No, no, no he stick. had this stick. Yeah. And the end had been bucked up so yeah. much from him hitting it on the ground so much. Yeah. Let's talk food. So there was some good food, and there was some interesting probably wouldn't want to eat it again food in my opinion <laughs> uh, so what was your favorite meal you ate at the dining hall i like the pork sandwiches those were good the first day the chicken and the mac and cheese oh yeah oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that was good really and while you Abigail ate thing. there was a camera that would zoom in on oh i love that, that. so creepy so whenever you went into the lunch oh, you'd be like gosh. you have to sit on this side of the table so that your back was facing the camera okay so we're on the topic of food did anyone get anything from the cafe or the snack shack that they liked that they want to share? Nothing. Ooh. I got mozzarella cheese sticks. Abigail got mozzarella sticks. And candy. And candy. Oh, I had some girl give me mozzarella sticks. Actually. Oh. I don't know what she was. <laughs> Mystery mozzarella sticks from someone. The cherry limeade was a huge deal. I don't really know why, but it was. It was basically Sprite. Yeah. With, it, it, it was did you a, have one? Yes, I did. It was, um, oh, what are the, Shirley Temple is basically all it was. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just basically Sprite with a squirt of like the cherry flavoring. <laughs> and then they put a cherry and a lime on top. Yeah. Nice. Did anyone else get a cherry limeade? Nope. No one? We weren't, we didn't succumb to the yeah. I, it was crazy good. advertising. I mean, it was, it was good. I would just say that the yeah. amount of advertising yeah, there, it was, was a little over the top. Yeah. I got a frozen one. It was good, but I didn't get the regular frozen. one. Did anything crazy happen in your cabin? Wait, you gotta <laughs> tell him the about the, the, what is it, funny bunny? Oh, oh okay, yeah, we were talking bunny. about this, we planned to, yeah, yeah, okay, so, we, we had, like, little videos every day of these, like, guys, like, Mark, and I don't even remember all their names, but there were these guys, I know there was Mark was one of them. Jordan. Yeah, Luke, Jordan. And the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I forget the other one. I can see the uh, race. Yeah. yeah, something. Okay, so they did these crazy things every day, and they, like, played it at the morning, chapel morning, right? Morning, yeah. yeah. So they did, like, these challenges. So the one day they did Chubby Bunny. Yeah, shove a bunch of marshmallows in their mouth. They like and they put one, and, and then, then they have to say Chubby it, yeah. Bunny. And then you put, like, more and more, and keep saying it without, like, laughing yeah. or, like, spilling marshmallow gunk out of your mouth. Uh, our counselors were inspired by that, so I think it was that night or the next that night. That night we had, like, S'mores. We had, we had s'mores. Yeah, s'mores night. And we took the extra marshmallows yeah. back to our cabin. So our counselors decided that they wanted to play this game. So <laughs> we just sat there and watched the counselors play this game until their mouths were shoved so full of marshmallows that they had to go outside. They had to go outside and spit the marshmallows over the... Okay, next question. Next question. We're moving on. We're moving on. So worship night was... We went to the roof, which this would be a good time to mention, that Jarrett thought the roof, if you don't know Jarrett, he's the guy who reads the Bible sometimes in church. He's a youth pastor. We like to make fun of him. So <laughs> Jarrett thought, when we came back, we were talking about the roof, and he thought the roof was an actual roof, so I thought, shout out to Jarrett, we add that in here because it's funny. Okay. It was actually a basketball court yes. with a roof on top of it. <laughs> okay. A pavilion. Yeah. yeah. With no tables So that you didn't have to yeah. 
So that's what the roof is if we yeah. say roof. Yes. So worship night was at the roof. And it was super cool. It was, like, outside. We just, like, sang a bunch of songs. So I thought that was really awesome. Did you guys have any favorite songs from the week? They were all really good. Yeah. And I made a mental note to listen to them, but I didn't listen to them yet. <laughs> I've listened to every <laughs> single one of them. I, I, I had the playlist, and I listened to it on the way home on the bus. I like a lot of them. I like Praises. We were talking about that one that we liked. That was a good by, one. Um, Elevation Rhythm, I think. It's Rhythm. really good. Yeah, I looked it up. That is what it is. And I also like Voices by Switchfoot. That was a really yeah. good song. I like keep listening to that one. You guys have any favorite songs from the week? All of them. We don't know the names. Yeah. I, we don't. I don't know. They don't know the names. They were all really good, though. They were all really they were. good songs. So there were a lot of games at this camp. There was a bunch of water games where people just came around and randomly dumped water all over you. I witnessed Abby get drenched by our counselor, yeah, which was, was funny. <laughs> Um, there was also the mud run, which I hated. Uh, that was I enjoyed fun. it because I just walked. No, carry I got. Jesus. Oh, we did carry that. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. I mean, wait, I did you carry? What? We carried grabbed Daniel. Daniel. Oh. 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 Okay. Him on a table okay. for a mile. Wow. So we just dropped him at the end. Jesus. Near death experiences. I. Cindy, I, I had a very close to death experience. <laughs> so they had a lot of crazy activities like. Tubing, zip lines, ropes course. So I did the ropes course. Oh yes. Thinking happy <laughs> gonna say. No, yeah. I know thinking that, that would be fun because I like to do dangerous things. So, <laughs> yeah, so I did the ropes course. This week. <laughs> yeah. So I did the ropes course and everything was fine. And then at the very end, there's like a zip line to the tree. Did you guys do the ropes course? No, okay. we did the high oh, ropes. We, we did the zip lining. Okay, they did the zip line thing. I didn't get to sign up for that. I'm a little bitter about that. But anyway, so <laughs> so They'd have this thing at the end of the ropes course where you propel down the tree, like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like someone else I might have this. Like, like, yeah, you, you like. Yeah, down. you know and you what I mean. Hit the tree. Yeah, you like walk down the tree. Or whatever. <laughs> so the guy didn't give me very much instruction. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna like jump off this tree and just cross my fingers. So I did that, and it did not end well because I just like kept like swinging away from the tree, like banging into the tree the entire way down, and it went so fast it literally just dropped me to the ground. Like, oh my gosh, it was terrible. And then I finally. <laughs> Yourself. Right, like I was like four feet from the ground, and I finally like did it like twice. And <laughs> yeah. Abigail just like witnessed like half of this because <laughs> everyone was at the beach. You can see the tree from the beach, so everyone at the beach could have watched it, me. So fall we down were that doing tree. the volleyball tournament right then, and um, so I was watching the volleyball tournament, and then I saw Bindi. I was like, oh, there's Bindi up there. I'm gonna go. There's like, Bindi watch falling her. down a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her come down, and all I saw was her bouncing off the tree yeah. whenever she finally caught herself. Oh, okay. And so I thought, yeah. oh, she did fine. Oh, great and she job, great job. Me, and, like, I almost died. Look at this giant bruise on my leg. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I, I know um, this was not a near-death experience, but it was a scary experience. <laughs> we were coming out of chapel to go to the basketball thing, <clears throat> the All-Stars basketball game. Because they had like all star games, oh. <laughs> all star games where like they'd have is. like the college students from the Word of Life Institute um, play against, play against camp campers or... who were like all, like, like really the... good camp. Yeah, so, and so we were coming out of the chapel thing, and the stairs were quite slippery, and I did not realize that. <laughs> oh my gosh! I... <laughs> <laughs> I finally realized what you're saying. I oh my gosh. Too. I, like, I fell on a person. No, no, I slipped down every single stair. I was right behind you for that. Oh my gosh. Like, Are you okay? That is so like, And then, and then like, I was just like sitting there like, yeah. okay, I'm fine if I just saw it. dangerous things. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. But like, like, literally, yeah, if you touch them. We spent all our time on the block. What? On the blob. the blob. Of course. You guys did the Tell blob. Tell us what the blob. Yeah. We didn't do the blob. I didn't do the blob. I, yeah, I didn't. I had, like, I, I had like a back strain. Oh and my I, gosh. Like, during the whole week. So I did the blob and my friend's like 60 more pounds than me. And I like wasn't ready to do a flip. I landed on my back. It actually helped it though. Oh, okay. oh. I got blob. I know my, my brother did the blob. My, my <laughs> Seriously? Brother did the blob. Yeah. You did? Yeah. I, my, no, really? Elijah did the blob. Where um, is Elijah? Elijah. Where are you? you should be shout out to Elijah. Time. Shout out. <laughs> Oliver blobbed me, and I was like above the diving board. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I was probably like 20 something. Did they in the catch air. it? <laughs> did they know like afterward? They let it happen no, again. Just and, then I on, <laughs> and then I landed on my face the we second just kept time. Going. I went I to tubing this. on a speedboat, and that was that was that was different. That was scary. 
But I survived. I didn't fall off. I came really close to falling off. I didn't fall off. <laughs> there were a lot of activities. There's like, you're doing something. You're always doing something. Always. Never a break. Never. You never from, have a break. From like 6.30 in the morning to like midnight. Midnight. Or one, midnight. 1 a.m. Midnight. Yeah. Well, so we had breakfast. Up to like eight. We had breakfast at 7.30. <laughs> So, so we had to get yeah, out. we were always walking out when you guys were walking in. Okay, yeah. so they had a sports tournament every single day. What were you guys' favorite sports tournament? Slash, did you play in any of them, and did you like any of them? I played in the soccer tournament with Bindi. Yes, that was fun. And it was fun. It was it was fun, and it was a good way to implement the red versus blue in another <laughs> thing. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Get back up that you hill. played in the basketball tournament. I played in the soccer and the basketball Bindi and the dodgeball. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I I had no idea how to play basketball, but I still played the tournament. Oh, and there's this picture. It looks like I know what I'm doing. Like it looks like I'm running and I'm like I'm like kind of oh, defending. Oh I don't know. What, I don't know basketball terms. <laughs> I don't know. But like it looks like I know how to play basketball. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. Look, everyone, I know how to play basketball. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, I don't. I still don't. How was the zip line? It was fun. We oh, dangled gosh, off the edge. That tree. Ooh. That's something <laughs> that I would never tree. do. crawled down like a cat. I did. Did you guys have to, like, repel down the tree? Dude, I was horrified oh, to repel down the tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it I was, was yeah. thunderstorming when we oh, were up yeah. there. Yeah. We, like, climbed up the giant tree. It didn't even start zip lining. It, like, starts thunderstorming. It was so <laughs> wet when we climbed up. I was taking one. my swim test, and we had to wait, like, an hour to get in the water to start taking our swim test. And we did the first part, and it starts thunderstorming. So, we're like, everybody out of the water. So, we had to wait another half an hour to get back in the water. And they had to make us do it all over again. Oh, oh like, oh, restart this one? Yeah. Oh, no. Quiet time. Ooh. Did you guys oh like Quiet Time? I have the booklet here. No. <laughs> I brought it. Oh boy. So nice. I enjoyed Quiet Time, but I kind of wished that. Because it wasn't actually Quiet Time. Like, yeah, it was that's quiet. You're sitting yeah. quiet and stuff. But they didn't actually have, like, at other camps I've been to, they had, like, Quiet Time where you lay on your bunk and you could nap, mm -hmm. do something quietly. I kind of wanted that because I was so exhausted at the end of the week. During our Quiet Time, we would go to the. what was called the White House Court because it was right in front of our cabin. And so we would go there for our quiet time. I liked quiet time because like you had your own time, like you had the time to listen to their sermon, but then you had time to like reflect on it and go back. Cause like sometimes they move at such like a fast pace. It's like, wait, I can't write that down. Or wait, yeah. like what did they say? And like quiet time was your time to like look through that and like dig deeper into the passages that they were talking about yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, it was really cool. I really, we had these. I really enjoyed the nice. morning. Chapel, I don't know what they called them. Exactly. Rallies. Morning rallies. I like the morning rallies. Too. Yeah, they, really those liked, were nice. I really liked Jay Sanders. He was one of my mm -hmm. favorite speakers of all of them. Wait, uh, that was like the main guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that guy too. Mm -hmm. he, he was, I really liked him and his preaching style and everything. <laughs> it was really I engaging. That, I wish that he also um, did the night ones, but yeah. I also really enjoyed the last night rally that they did with like about the entertainment and stuff that you talked about oh yeah church, yeah uh, I love last that one. week what is something that you would want to do differently now because of camp i know one thing is i was kind of like oh i'm not gonna have my phone and i'm a little like oh no i'm not gonna have my phone for the week and i'm getting i don't know i don't know this thing i was kind of worried about that a little bit and then like as soon as like i didn't have my phone i was fine like i i literally like that was like my favorite thing yeah Okay, what was your favorite breakout sessions? Okay, breakout sessions are like three different mini sermons or talks, whatever, at different places. So you can like pick which one you want to go to and learn about that specific thing that they're talking about. I mean, sometimes there is like times that you could ask questions about it or different things like that. So you could just kind of split up and learn what you wanted to learn about. Probably whenever they split the boys and the girls, and you like went separate. Same. For any specific reasons, just, it just be it was... yeah, just because. It gave me a uh, much needed information that I needed to hear for a long yeah. time. Instead, of, like me just telling myself I heard it from someone else, which was pretty helpful. Was... You guys Caleb, like, yeah, it, they it, was yours the same as his? Yeah. Okay, that is me. Okay, my favorite was probably when we split into like levels, like one two and three like That's how strong like is your relationship with god and the one that i went to i don't remember what it was called but i went to the level three one the believer yes one. the believer one and it was i liked it it was really cool 
It was about obedience, like five different levels of obedience. I really liked that one too. You talked about that one in I church. I talked about yeah. that one in church, and you stole mine. I'm sorry, <laughs> that was my favorite. Too. My favorite one was the gamer one, which I also talked about in church. <laughs> Um, it was basically just talking about uh, different ways you can use your hobbies to further God's work and God's um, plan. What's one beautiful thing in God's creation that you saw at the island? Mm-hmm. Water. Water. Was the water was pretty. The water. sunsets were so pretty. They and were. like over the, was it the lake? I think it was the lake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Over the lake oh, and um, the fireworks. They were awesome. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Fourth of July, so there was cool. awesome. Oh, oh, fireworks. oh um, but they would shoot off one at a time. Yeah. So like the fireworks were so amazing to see. But what I remembered on that Fourth of July night was the sunset and the mountains mm-hmm. behind it. <laughs> I remember um, at the campfire night, because we had one night where it was a campfire and you could like, um, throw a stick in if you felt called to um, surrender. Uh, surrender. Before we did all of that, um, you, uh, just watching the fire, and it was like, like just the the sparks going up and everything. Fire. It was so beautiful. It was, and like it's just so. <laughs> Did we? Very beautiful and like very. Did um, we all throw a stick in? Did you guys throw a stick in? Mm-hmm. We yeah. did too. It was very moving. And I mean, you're probably thinking you like you just threw a stick in a fire, but mm-hmm. it was a lot more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you want to go back to Word of Life camp? The food. The food. No. Oh, yeah, I ate better there, dude. It was an all-you-could-eat buffet three times That's true. a day. I would want to go back to Word of Life. I don't know. It was definitely a spiritual high. And um, it got you out of your comfort zone, got you moving, you were um, tired all the time. Constantly in the word. Constantly in the word. Con- it, was, it was good because you were around other Christians and it wasn't like, yeah. are, you, are you a Christian? Like looking at someone in Walmart, like, no judgment. Do you, do you know? Yeah. <laughs> but like you knew everyone there. If, even if they weren't like believers, you knew that they had some idea of, the gospel yeah. because I mean they're at Word of Life, they're and a church. Camp. So that was cool because you're just like, like in the, in the rally. Like how many? How, I don't know. Like how many people were there? Like three hundred, four hundred. Yeah, probably around four hundred. Kids. And you're. I think yeah. there was like I everyone. mean, people. Just everyone. Like, like five. Five hundred. Like there's a lot of people, and you're like, like definitely during worship, it's like. I'm worshiping with 500 other teenagers just like me from all around the world right now. And that was yeah, really it was really, cool. it was it was really awesome. cool how many people come around. That was one thing I did like about Word of Life. Um, yeah. Was the amount of different people from different places in the world were there. Like there were like counselors who were from, there was like one from, uh, where was he from? That one guy on the red team? Wait, oh, Ollie? the leader, Ollie. yeah, Ollie. Poland. 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 Yeah. There was a guy from Poland. Uh, one of our counselors was from Peru, and so like there were counselors who had come from all over that, or like even like teens. Like there was two huge groups of kids who came from. I can't remember exactly where. Uh, like, Some came from the Dominican Republic. The Dominican, yeah, okay, yeah the, Domin- the Dominican. David. And like it was like David, this, this huge group of kids, and it was like so cool just to see all these different like. I thought it was a fun time to do all the activities and learn about God and, I don't know, just believe in Him more and follow Him more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer! Let's hit the trail running! Hi, Jason! (laughs) He my likes favorite doing part of this podcast when I just pick this up and talk. Oh my gosh, yeah, that, that was funny. Ow. Good answer. I'm so glad you said Oh my gosh. Look at him like that. Look, there's some marshmallows that you threw up yesterday. One of my favorite songs was the pizza jingle. No. Abigail will be singing that for us. No, I will not be singing that for you because I do not remember it. You can sing oh, it. Oh, I remember it. Pizza. Wait, we're all agreeing that we want to go back, right? Yes. Okay, good. The food. <laughs> Abigail! <laughs> <laughs> okay, pause for a minute. The f- thing mashed, not mashed it is, cheesy potatoes the other day. All these kids wanted broccoli instead of cheesy potatoes. No, oh, and I was no, like, okay. you're just... Were- yeah. And this kid asked for 
applesauce with cheese. <laughs> Ew! I want food, hurry up. Bindi. Or is this the way for something? That was so, that was much better. Okay, okay. Did I say hello? Like, that's too formal. <laughs> hello. <laughs> this is hello. the 3D design. Hello. And then, the very first day I got there, we walked in, like, was it the first day? I think it was. Like, before we all went to bed. And there was a giant door that oh, said, do okay. not open. Yep. Whatever you do, do not open this door. <laughs> Alarm will... Well, I, I want to know what would happen if I opened the door. I remember this. So I, I opened this. the door. I remember this. What? And an alarm, like a very loud alarm that like woke when everybody up, went off for like a minute straight. I remember. Was everyone asleep? was talking about was that. Ever... Church is such a weird word. Bro. It is. Like, do you ever look at a word and you're like that? Yes, all the time. Crayon is such a weird crayon? word. Crayon? No, it's crayon. Crayon? crayon? No, it's crayon. Yo! No! 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 It's crayon. Crayon. It's crayon. It's C A Y. Oh, crayon. Good. It's crayon. Good answer. Good answer. Don't cut that out. We're just clapping. Yeah, we're just clapping. Let's hit the trail running. Wait, wasn't that something I said there? No, that was Hannah's catchphrase from this podcast. I knew I knew yeah. it from somewhere. Yes. I have wanted to say that so bad. We have to like That's run so back while they're getting us on a video. We should do that. Yeah. <laughs> we have to what? run. No. What are we doing? We're running. Let's go. Where? <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of the podcast. Our prayer is that you've heard something today that will help you be a better disciple of Jesus Christ. We also want to encourage you to make sure you take your next step in your discipleship journey by considering what it is you would do about what you heard today and then go and do it. Finally, we want to invite you to join us at 1030 on Sundays, either at our Main Street campus in downtown Clarion between Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's or online at fbcclarion.com. God bless.